March 10th at 6.30 p.m. We're heading over to the Adirondacks. We'll be camping there tonight, and the big mission is to do Marcy tomorrow. We're just camping out in the lean-to, got some cots, have a little fire, make some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Gunning for though is a few socked in that still got after. Us. We're out here, 28 degrees or so. What's the wake up call? Seven. Hit the trail. We got Marcy, 16.4 miles, 3,500 feet in elevation. <laughs> Snowshoes on, unfortunately. We can see one person up there breaking trail for us. Shouldn't be too much fresh snow, so we're optimistic. Made it up top. Tallest peak in New York State. That was tough. That was really, really tough. <laughs> the quads were getting uh, locked up, back cramping. But we can't wait to eat. Really hungry. But we, we found a little bit of shelter down here away from the wind, but it's definitely ripping. Switch over to the spikes. Start charging down. Riley, I'll crack a beer and get myself good and drunk for the ride home. Let's pick up the pace, Buster. Cinnamon cry for the rocks in the mountains. For the rocks in the mountains, they keep hiding. On that great judgment morning. Oh, sinner, where are you going to hide? Barely made it through the night. Woke up probably 10 times, quite cold. Gravest error. I failed to bring a separate pair of boots or shoes of some kind just to use around the campsite. So I was using my running shoes, which are, you know, Gore-Tex or waterproof, but they froze overnight. So we're in the truck trying to heat those up. <laughs> Silly boy. The nice thing about having the wet shoes is uh can't really do too much to help out this morning, unfortunately. Love to be a hand, but Riley's out there making the coffee. So morning. Mmm. Grilled peanut butter and jelly. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> 